Hello coders, welcome back to our channel Ayaz Tech. Today we are going to be looking at a neat trick on how to send an email in Angular without involving a backend. If you find our content helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more programming wisdom. Today's method will utilize a service called email.js, which essentially lets you send email directly from your JavaScript code without the need for a server. We are going to connect this service with our Angular project. So let's get started. The first step is to create an account on email.js. Just head, head over to email.js.com and sign up. We have to verify the email as well after creating an account. So I'm going to verify it. Once you are signed up and logged in, navigate to the email services tab. That is the first menu item in the sidebar. And here you will need to set up your email service. You can choose from a variety of options such as Gmail, Outlook or more. For the sake of this tutorial, we will be using only Gmail. So click on the Gmail icon and here you can uh, use set the name of the service and after that you have to connect your Gmail with this. So now <clears throat> click on the connect account button. It will show you the authentication screen from here you have to give it, you have to authorize it and once that is done. You can click on the create service and make sure the send test email to verify configuration is checked. And with that, after the service is created, it will send a test email. So we got an error. It is saying that insufficient authentication scope. So let's try it again. I will disconnect it and connect it again. Click on continue. Now let's try it again. Okay, this time it did not fail and it was saved now if you open it you can see the test email has been received perfect after setting up your email service navigate to the email templates tab here you can create a new template this will be the content of the emails that you send from your angular application in this template you can include user input values for instance, if you have a contact form on your website, you can integrate these values in your email template using the double curly braces syntax like this. So in our case, we this is our contact form and we have full name, email, subject and message. So we will make sure to have these fields. All right, now I will hit the save button and after that you will see we have a playground button and the test it button. So if you click on the test, then here you can provide the required field values and on the right side you can get the JavaScript code that you can use in your Angular application. And from here you can pick the service that you want to use. I want to use this service. Okay, now I will hit the send button and you can see it has created the payload that will be sent. So this will be the format of the code that you will be using in your Angular application. So click the send test email and this should send the same email template to your email. So let's check in our email. We just got an email and if you open it, you can see it has all of the information. It has the subject, email, name and everything. So. After that, I will just copy this code so that I could use it later. I will keep it somewhere here in the commented form. So I kept it there just for backup. And now close it. And after that, we need to uh, integrate this with our Angular project. So this is the process that you can follow. This is the install. These are the installation steps. So just copy this command. This will install the library in your computer, in your project. So open the VS code and open a new terminal and then paste that command, press enter. After it is installed, we will use it. 
and here is the description that you can follow you can see after it is installed you can import it like this then you can create your provide the parameters of your template and you, then you can send it in this way so let's do that as the package has been installed so now i will open my app.component and here i will import this library that we just installed and now i will use this code that we just copied earlier now here i will create a function send and paste that code in here after that i will quickly create my form but for that i will in import the reactive form module so now i will create the property form and the type would be form group and i will initialize it with the form group but before that i want to create a constructor so that i could inject so there is a service called form builder so this is how you will inject the service i will now use this service to create my form group and here i will specify the fields that i want to create in my form i want for from name to name and then we need from email then we need subject then at last we need message okay in the to name i will specify for example admin and in the from name it will pick from the inputs and from email will come from this input so let's do that now open the html and here i will add the form group directive after that i will add the form control name attributes or directives on all of the inputs for example from name and similarly i will put it in the email as well that will be from email and then i will put it in the subject so that would be subject and then we will have the form control name for the message okay now i will just display the data from the form that will come from the form value form dot value and we will pipe it through the json here you can see the data email subject message so we have all of the data that we can use to send the remove everything and here i will just keep javascript wide and there is a fun, uh, event called submit we will call a function send when this event is triggered and the submit button should be the button type should be submit now here we will pick those values and pass them in these values for that i will use this dot form dot value dot from name and to name and here we will have from email and here we will have the subject and finally this will be the message from the form okay as this is this will return me the promise so i will add async here and we will use response await uh, await should be here and once it is done we will show an error to the user that message has been sent and also i will reset the form all right now let us test it so here i will use the name email subject this is a subject this is the message so now i will go i will hit the submit button and i got an error so it is saying that public key is required 
we have to get the public key so this is the public key that you have to initialize it and pass the public key as the first parameter now let's try it again now hit the submit button again and this time we got the successful message without any error now if you open the gmail uh, or your email client you can see that message has been received and here you can see that we have the email that we sent we got the subject and we got the message as well we can make changes in the template as well again so for example go to the template and i want to use the subject and i want to paste it here instead and save it so now our subject would be dynamic so let's hit the submit button again this is new message okay now hit the submit button and this time it will be sent again and if you open your gmail or email account you will see that this time we are getting a dynamic subject instead of hard coded all right you have seen that now you can send an email from your angular application without using any backend thank you for watching this tutorial if you have found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel also if you have any questions or run into any problems just drop a comment below and we will do our best to help see you next time